Well, we don't have to tell you it's hot and dry because if you've spent any time in Oklahoma at all, you know, summers <laughs> typically here are hot and dry. But you know what? This year, things are a little bit different. And if we don't see a good rain soon, there's a concern a flash drought will likely develop pretty quickly. News Force Kaitor K is live with what exactly that means. Kaitor. The state climatologist tells us the past 30 days is the hottest, the driest on record when compared to the same period over the past 100 years. We see all the indicators. We see the, the yellowing vegetation. We see the, the shrinking farm ponds, the dying crops, uh, the terrible heat that comes along. Uh, with this type of uh, feedback effect from the from the drought. The hot days of summer now leading to concerns of a flash drought in Oklahoma, according to state climatologist Gary McManus. We're definitely in a flash drought situation right now. Sharing that this is the driest it's been in 100 years. In fact, if we looked at the uh, statewide average precipitation total over that time frame from June 11th through today, that's the driest uh, such period on record since at least 1921. With no rain in sight, the Mustang Fire Department now taking steps to cut down on grass fires. We issued a hold on all burn permits for the next 14 days due to the dry conditions and the high heat with low humidity. So the vegetation keeps getting drier and drier. Forewarned storm team chief meteorologist Mike Morgan weighing in. A flash drought, it's a powerful force. The evaporation rates are so much higher than any rainfall that we're getting. Everything dries out and gets crispy instantly. And as for what can be done to save lawns and flower beds. If you have to water, it's best to water in the mornings or at night. A good soaking rain or water is the best. A lot of times you try to water, it'll all evaporate if you water during the peak heating of the day. We asked McManus when he thinks this flash drought will be over. He says he doesn't think it will end until at least August. Kaitor K, Oklahoma's News 4.